This station is designed to test your ability to control hemorrhage. This is a scenario-based testing station. As you progress through the scenario, you will be given various signs and symptoms appropriate for the patient's condition. You will be required to manage the patient based on these signs and symptoms. A scenario will be read aloud to you and you will be given an opportunity to ask clarifying questions about the scenario. However, you will not receive answers to any questions about the actual steps of the procedures to be performed. You may use any of the supplies available in this room. You have five minutes to complete the skills station. Do you have any questions? I do not. You are presented with a male patient that has a deep laceration to the right forearm. Okay. I'm going to start by having my BSI on. I'm going to take my 5 by 9 gauze and apply direct pressure to the wound. And your patient continues to bleed. Okay. I'm then going to apply a pressure dressing. As I'm rolling this around, I'm making sure to pull nice tight pressure on top of the wound. All right. Pressure dressing has been applied. And the wound still continues to bleed. Okay. So I'm going to put a tourniquet on. So I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to go about two inches above the wound, making sure I'm not in a joint. I'm going to tighten the strap down. Strap is tight. I'm going to spin the windlass. Make sure it gets nice and tight. I'm going to spin until I see the bleeding stop. That way I know it's sufficient. I'm going to then secure it into one or two of these hooks, which is going to fit into one right now. The bleeding is now controlled, but the patient is showing signs and symptoms indicative of hypoperfusion. Okay. I'm going to apply high flow oxygen to the patient. I'm going to properly position them by keeping them flat and raising their legs up. I'm going to keep them warm with blankets, and this patient does need immediate transport to the hospital. I am done with this scenario.